Alrighty, uh, good morning. Welcome. This is ABC One Two Three Trade, and today is uh, wow, April thirteenth, two thousand twenty-three. It's not the hour. Ten o'clock. Anyways, people, um, I read comments once in a while. I just haven't uh, been proactive on my channel. It's uh, getting ready to go back up north, and just been doing a whole bunch of mini projects. I just do my own trade and I walk away. But when I started reading some of the, the questions people are asking me, they say, oh, you got too many indicators on the chart. And I says, you know what? The reason why I do that was actually was for education purposes for you guys to understand what I look for. Yes, there's a lot of noise, but I want to show you how the bottlenecks work. So to keep it as simple as possible, what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to show you the easiest, well, I won't say the easiest methodology, but just to understand where I'm coming from using a set, just simple approaches, but when I use my mathematics for the for the charts, you can understand what I'm looking for. So what I'm going to do is for today, I'm going to just put a simple in just a simple EMA uh, moving average. Actually, I'll put a VWAP on this then. Let's just put a VWAP. I'll use my VWAP. I did, uh, let's go, let's just do a VWAP. Actually, three indicators. I'm going to do three. VWAP, volume bars, and, and then just a moving average. And I'll put a 200 or we'll go 250. 200, good enough. Maybe 250, I don't know. So basically, that's it, guys. If you really want to say bare bones, clean the chart, understand what's happening, that's your route. Now what I'm going to do in the beginning is, from top-down approach, I always say look at the news, but I'm not even going to look at the news at this point in time for the chart. So if you look at a daily chart, what you're going to notice, you got leg one, leg two, Elliott waves. Oh, remove all objects. I see a little box there. Yeah, little box I did. Uh, the little drawing objects. Okay, and then why did I do it? Weird. Okay, whatever. There's a little box here, but it, as you can see, it's going up and down, up and down. So we have one huge leg one, one huge leg two, and if you really want to understand. Everybody says, you know, they look at your swing highs, your swing lows. But right now, we're, we're going into a momentum path going up. We finally crossed on a long-term VWAP of, of buying average. And remember this, I marked this way, way back, uh, Mohammed vid uh, videos ago, early in the year, stating that uh, this is where the volume point of control is for like many months. So as you can see, that's what I look for. So now we know for the whole day it's trying to push up. You can see it on a long time frame. Now let's go to a four or uh, is it four hour, eight hour? This is an eight hour chart. Now look how ugly an eight hour was. Pop, pop. Look at that. Pop, pop. And then you have a big high volume. See, so look at this. Call your volume. Less volume. Isn't that crazy, guys? You think about it. This is high volume, less volume. We're trying to push up and we'll look for support and resistance. And what we're going to do is we'll go to a four hour chart, high volume, must be news events, trying to push up. So it looks like it's going to push up to 3100. And then, yeah, she's going, uh, what is this? We're 1005. Okay. I might have missed it already. And then uh, I can go 15. Let's just go to five minute chart, see exactly what's happening, and we'll go from there. Okay, so now we're at a five hour chart. Next thing, what you should do. You're just trying to analyze charts. Or let's see where the volume point of control is for the day. So we know we're breaking out of a 70% zone. And right here, see how the volume is just tricking like crazy? So they're trying to pop through the zone. And then here and here. She's taking off on my best one trade here. We have a high, high spot here. This is one area we have to look at. And we'll go from there. So we know if it does crash, but we know where volume point of control is. Actually, I'm not even gonna worry about that. I'm just gonna follow the VWAP right to there, okay? And as you can see, high, low, high, low, high volume, snap, resistance, look to the left. Let's go F6 here. Look to the left where we are right now. 
So they had a major resistance at 95 by the 100 level. See where they're vibrating here? And look at all this wiring block control. So they might hit this reverse. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do it again for the next session. Let's see where they were. And look where all the volume is, guys. Let's see? Right here. So basically we can go like this. Let's do that. Let's put it on this line. And it looks like we might have a chance to go up to this 7% volume, maybe even go higher. So we'll move that up to 21. We know we have resistance here, so they've got to fight through all this volume and it might shoot down again. I will go one more day again. See where they are. Same thing, see all this volume here between these two ranges? And they're right in the heart of the range right now and they're gonna bust through. And look at this, 70% here and 70% here. So my goal is to, to go for it at that point. Now since I know those three zones, one, two, three zones, we can clean up the chart if you really want to. Now what I do is actually I'm gonna put one more indicator in here, just, just for lines, the trigger fish. Where's Trigger Fish? Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, she's gone. I missed it. Okay. Fly. There we go. Put it on a one minute chart for sensitivity to find out where my entry is. And there's my Trigger Fish. Now, if you're worried, go through here. There's all that volume. Stop volume. Look for the bond fund controls down here. I can put an order at 71, and we know in quarters we can go up there. So, what I will do now, as patient, being patient as possible. I want it to come down. I'm going to put a buy on it right here at 76. Or nice, it could make nice quarter. Just keep it as simple as possible. Let it come retest. I want to see. I don't want to take off right away. And we are at 10 away. Usually, what I'll do is I'll wait. Oh, and the other thing, what I'll do, if you want to keep it as simple as possible, let's watch our volume. So, when you're watching, what we can do now is we can watch. Our instant volume, oh, and one more thing. We'll use a Ninja Trader one, uh, the, the, the trade detector, if it works. See if we have any big trade detections. Uh, were, were there any today? All their trade detections were in this zone here, see? There was a lot of them. There was one for the buy section to keep on going. So, but it took at four in the morning for it to break, see? Okay, now we're good to go. I'm watching, there we go. Here's our retracement. This is what I'm looking for. Now I'm gonna watch, I wanna see this retracement go really aggressive. I'll, I'll, I might put it, whoops. Is that at the 70? I can't remember anymore. Let's see what happens here. I wanna see a nice pull down. And then what I will do, here we go. See all that buying? This is all, all aggressive high bids, which I missed while I was trying to get the education. See, it's all at 1500. See, look at the 100 level. Now I'm watching the sell off. And when this starts turning green again, I might buy in. If you want to keep it as simple as possible, but what I'll do before I go crazy again, now let's move this across. We need to pop the 20 mark. See, there was that other volume stoppage. There will be volume stoppage here and maybe they might fight away. Because this is, they're filling in the gap here. This is where the ultimate fill gap is. But we have to break 2025, okay? So what we'll do, and see, see how it's consolidated now? All in that zone? Okay. Uh, I have high volume dropping down because of the color votes. Okay, this is what I use volume for. Yeah, high volume spike, broke again, trying to go up higher. I can move this up to this zone on the trigger fish. And I'm just waiting, and I'm looking at these numbers. See their mixed reviews? Now they're starting. I want to see if there's a few, few more of these, so if this keeps on giving me quite a bit more greens, I might just buy them right away. But I want to see there was a high volume rejection. Now one we can do as well on the last week high to low if you're using Fibonacci's. Whoops, wrong one. Uh, let's delete this. Uh, Fibonacci retracement. Let's just put it for the last kind of swing. 
So a little bit below here. So we'll see what happens. Some more reds. Between 11.10 to 11.17 is, I'm gonna start watching some numbers here. And we'll go. A couple more fives there. There's some more pink. So we're just being patient. I know I can put my order in here, but I want it to fill the gap. So there's your high volume gap here. So I want it to get down to a little bit lower. We're watching this. See how they're just loading up more contracts. A high 43 walk sell right here. And now we're going to be patient. If you want, to, like you said, if you didn't want to have crazy charts, okay? And we will get to 20. We're just waiting. You can see resistance on the candles. And we're looking for a high volume sell. That's what I'm waiting for. Oh, there she goes. So what I can do, I'm going to put a, is it a 15 yet? No, we're at 12. Let it push down a little bit more. Yeah, so we had some, see how the bigger numbers, see how the bigger numbers were resistance and the little numbers was a higher spike, right? So I'm going to do it right now. Order filled. Now what I want to see, I want to get to 20 to 25 if we can. Uh, let me see here. We're at zero to 20, so that would be a $400 move. So we're going to sell our limited. Order submitted. Somewhere right around there. Now we be patient. We have a we have a lot of green right here. See more greens are punching up now. We're going to give it some time. They did have a lot of blocks that they had to sell at 93. And now all we do is we move away. If I see a high volume color instantly pop, I will shut it down because we're hitting into more volume. So we're going to give it some time. It's trying to break this well right now. And what we're going to do, look to the left. Let me open this up a little bit more. Let's see where we are here. And I just go right to the top of that bar right there. 1875, good enough. Okay, we're at five points. Now we're going to watch our candle color, 8, 9, 10, 11. Remember, 10 points is 200. I can shut her down for today. There's my high color I don't like. Let's keep on punching. Over we'll the rejection. Keep on going. One more hit. Get it off. Done for today. Submitted. Order filled. So we're done. Oh, shoot. I should have waited one more second. So we wrapped up just on that one trade. Uh, see, there it goes. It hit my tab. I should have waited. But when I see a high color bar, I usually want to shut down because he has some momentum. And uh, let me see here. Where are we? Why can't I see it? It should be on here. Oh, let me see. There you go, $225. And I would have hit my target at 220. I should have kept it. But I just want to be patient. And what you can see here is I should have watched this as well. See, we're hitting highs, 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 highs. And so with this, this is as simple as possible. And what they, you didn't need to really use any of my ABC123 trigger indicators. And that's fine, except for high volume bars, uh, VWAP, where you probably make sure it has VWAP now. And then I just use my trigger fish. And that's as simple as possible. And then for the properties of this, I try to keep it as simple as possible. So the, the above ask, the ask, the backgrounds, all I got rid of all the backgrounds, but I only try to keep it as two colors as possible, as such as there she takes off. So um, above ask, ask foreground, ask, uh, all the asks are green, and then the bits are um, are pink. And a lot of the times, what you have to realize, um, when I was trying to when I was trying to learn myself on order flow, they say if there's a lot of ask bits on order flow, you usually say they'll get sellers or buyers trapped or whatever. 
But basically, they're just punching through when you have high volatility. So what I do is, when I start seeing, oh, uh, right here, like when you're seeing a lot of this, it's going to be one of two things. It's going to be they're cashing out and you're done, and it's going to be a hardcore uh, reversal. But I'm still watching. And what I've been doing, because I haven't been doing many videos lately, we know where the momentum is. Okay, now the last thing I wanted to show you is on a 15 minute chart to keep it as simple as possible. See, look at the resistance on it. Look at that. We had that big move first thing in the morning, which I didn't start until the video later. Now, what I'll do is I'm going to get rid of, um, I'm going to get rid of all drawing objects. Okay. And then what you do, see, it was always moving up today. So it's a little harder here, that was what hope. But what you can do, where do you see the consolidation right here? Create a rectangle. Okay. I'll use that one. I'm gonna copy it. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm going to move them up a few levels here. One level. Now we're at level two. Now what you're going to see at that level, we're getting close to an order block. So it's going to get close in that zone. And if I'm wrong, we watch for the next block. Let's go this way and see where it's touching. See? We're right in that trade block zone, see? And what they do is, on overnight sessions, now this is just a recursion, but what I'm thinking what they're going to do is they're going to try to get this zone here and do another sell-off, personally. That's what I'm thinking what they're going to do. But, uh, so what you can do is, you can use a target A to target B if you, if you I would recommend uh, micros if you, you, you can't afford it because look at the gap already. See the spacing from the VWAP? So it needs to it needs to get back to you know to the area of interest. So they're really pushing hard. But what you can do is when you get to this zone here and it's close to a, you know a 50 marker, right? You know I showed you quarters before. This is what you want to watch for and you can go from there. Other than that and then, as you can see, remember we did all that, uh, this moving here, where is this, which we're following right now. Remember we were just right in that zone, around 10, 15, 10, 17, we made her $200. You can see she's, she's tapping out. Now look at all, look at the cash out. Cash out, 25s. Look where this, this moves really quickly, 25 sell off, see those quarters, psychological numbers. 25 again, so now they're grouping up these sell-offs. So they're cashing out again. They, the, the big boys, the big players, they're, uh, this is they hit their target, so they're cashing. And then what we do is we watch over and over and over again and just go round and round. So, like I, like you don't need this chart, in all honesty. I use it because it just gives me simplifying my thought process, such as as because um, I'm still I always write code and all that. But see, from this point forward, see 1007 is turning around. So for my brain, saying okay, if it's turning around, I'll start looking for trades and I'll start marking up the chart. And there was my move order flow showing yes, okay, we've got a higher buyer bias. And then I have all these target lines where I even marked it manually is actually hitting some of the lines that I wrote on the code. So you don't need it it's once you become, once you start um, uh, trading more and more and more, becoming more confident. But the things that I always look for is, of course, price action, what side of the trend you're on, volume, people like the volume down here reading volume, I use it by color because, I, because I'm because i staring at price action up here. Other than that, if you have any questions, you can reach me at ABC123Trader. Other than that, just make sure you pinpoint your trades, 
Trade safe, guys, and you guys have a great day. Take care.